my channel. I am Christy of Christy in the City. Today we are in a super cool neighborhood here in Chicago. Asia on Argyle is a predominantly Vietnamese neighborhood here in Chicago. There are a million cool restaurants, bakeries, coffee shops for us to check out. So we're gonna show you guys some of our favorites and trying some new things as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Our first stop was to Da Nang Kitchen, a small top-rated Vietnamese restaurant. I'm going to hype you all now. The food was phenomenal. I will write every dish we had as I explain it as I don't want to butcher the pronunciation. We started with the Hanoi style egg coffee, which is something I had never tried before. It looked amazing. tried the Hanoi style egg coffee, which I've never had before. They served it in this water bath, and I'm not sure of why. I'm gonna have to look that up or ask them, but it looks super good. I've never had anything like this before. So he said to give it a stir. This is literally the best thing I've ever had. <laughs> We ordered the mini pot stickers served with sweet soy sauce and these were absolutely delicious. They were perfectly crispy on the outside and so flavorful. We also shared the caramelized chicken wings with rice, which were incredible. The wing sauce had the perfect balance of sweet and spicy, and we crushed these in mere seconds. We also shared their signature noodle dish, consisting of pork belly, shrimp, and quail eggs in a savory broth. This, along with the wings, was one of my favorite dishes we tried this day. The flavor was complex, and the dish was just unbelievably delicious. Cause that man is trouble, you best be aware And though deep down I know I might be headed for teardrops Now that you got me started I just can't stop No, no We took a break from the heat and stopped by Viet Hoa Grocery Store to check out the variety of Vietnamese goods they carry There were so many things we wanted to try I gotta tell you that I Our next stop is Miss Saigon, a restaurant serving Vietnamese classics and bubble tea in a relaxed modern space. We shared a few dishes here, starting with the roll sampler that consists of spring rolls, egg rolls, Saigon rolls, and shrimp rolls. Our favorites were definitely the spring rolls and the shrimp rolls, so delicious. Plus the dipping sauces they were served with were so good. We also ordered the barbecue pork bows, which were so good that they disappeared in seconds. <music> Lastly, we ordered the classic banh mi, which consists of vegetables, pork, ham, and pate, and is served with fries. This was my least favorite thing that we ordered, but I'm also not much of a sandwich person, but it was fun to try it. Also, their fries are super good, which was a pleasant surprise and we were thrilled.
We picked up a few pastries from La Patisserie P, a bakery that specializes in both Asian and European pastries. Everything looked incredible. We're going to pick up coffee and then I'll share what we bought. For coffee, we visited an old favorite, First Sip Cafe. Owned by a pair of Vietnamese sisters, First Sip blends Vietnamese coffee and tea culture with Western style food offerings. We're back in the car now because we truly had to escape the heat. It's like over 100 degrees real feel right now. So we are blasting the AC, we're in the car, but we wanted to show you guys the coffees that we got as well as the pastries that we got from La Patisserie. So let's try our coffees first. I got an iced Vietnamese coffee. It looks like it's gonna be strong. That's what I need. The cup is sweating so intensely from the heat. Barish got a pistachio mint iced latte. Bring it in, show the peeps. Lovely. <laughs> and I got a little less sweet for him because neither of us really like super sweet drinks. So cheers. Let's try. Ooh, mine's so strong. Is yours good? Barsh likes his. Oh yeah. <laughs> Barsh likes his. I like mine too. I kind of forgot that Vietnamese iced coffee is so strong. Wow, I am gonna be bouncing off the walls, which is good, because after this, we're gonna clean out our refrigerator. <laughs> On to the pastries that we got. We got this kumquat almond cake. Never tried anything like this, so we got this to try. We also got this beautiful chocolate raspberry mousse. It looks so good. And then I read in the reviews that their croissants are really good, so we got a chocolate croissant. Delicious. And Barsh got an almond croissant that I'll show you in here actually because I don't want to get the powdered sugar all over myself. So it all looks really good. I'm really excited to try all of it. Let's try a bite of this uh, chocolate mousse right now, should we? We got some pho from another restaurant that I'll share with you guys um, after this, but. Sparkly. Mmm, mmm. Very raspberry, but it's very good. Barsh's turn. <laughs> we picked up some pho to go to have for dinner tonight. So we'll show you guys that before we eat it because honestly, we are so stuffed from everything we already ate. It is also so hot outside. I think we're both over or ready to go home. So we will show you guys that in a moment. This is number 37 on their menu. It is a beef broth, beef broth. It is a beef broth pho. It has different types of beef cuts in it noodles, cilantro, a ton of onions. It looks so good. It's actually super nice because they include all of the toppings to throw on it, wrapped up all nice. Love that, it looks so incredible. I cannot wait to try it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video in Asia on Argyle. It is a really cool neighborhood here in Chicago. It's so unique. I feel like there's so many amazing restaurants boba tea shops, coffee shops, just so many fun things to check out and explore here. If you have not had Vietnamese food, this is a great neighborhood to come to in Chicago to try for the first time. There's a ton of options, everything is delicious. We had so much fun today going around and trying out some new things and some old favorites. So as always, I really appreciate you guys being here. I really appreciate you watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so below. It really does help me out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.